My presence is here because of people who have prayed and asked me to come and be with you in, in your midst even now. I'm crying out to the people to receive what I am doing in your midst. So many are not receiving what I'm doing. Your heart is calloused. Your heart is calloused. Your heart is calloused. My spirit is moving, yet you are unmoved. But I call upon you now to allow me to soften your heart and touch you and deliver you and set you free. For I am here to deliver you from all your bondage.
where we spend eternity. In Jesus' name. 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 The grace of God. 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 The grace of God.
city. You are so precious in the sight of the Lord. You may not feel precious, but you are. And you're a beautiful young lady. And Jesus loves you so much. And I'm going to tell you, in front of all these people, God has a divine work for you. He has a powerful work that can only be done through you. He can use other people in other ministries. But this specific one in the geographical area, He has chosen you to fulfill this mission. And the way we're going to pray is we're going to command every spirit that tries to hinder you serving God and hindering you from receiving the Holy Ghost. They're going to leave this surrounding area. The area, when you go out the door, we're going to pray a shield of protection around you and a hedge of protection around you. And I want to ask you, saints of God, when you pray and reach your hand this way, I want to ask you to pray with authority. I want to emphasize that. However God leads you to pray, pray with authority. I can't say that enough. However God leads you to pray, pray with authority. In the name of Jesus. Pray as if Jesus himself is praying through you. Because there is a great divine work about to take place in Karen's life. In Jesus' name. I'm going to lay this word on you, Karen. You know how powerful the word is. And God is going to touch you with the power of the Holy Ghost and deliverance and rebuke every power that ever tries to claim, lay claim on you. In the authority of Jesus.
I walked away from the Lord. He didn't walk away from me. I've been saved for a long, long time. And some things happened and I walked away. And I've been miserable ever since. You know, when you don't have God, you can't find happiness. I don't care what you do. No matter where you go, and I've been to several churches, you can't find it anywhere. You can't take a pill for it. Nothing you do. There's always that emptiness. <clears throat> and I've been struggling. The Lord's been dealing with me, but I've been trying my best to hold on to me. And I wouldn't give in. But I knew that I couldn't go anymore. Praise God. Yes. I knew I would never have that happiness and that peace unless I came back to God. Amen. And He's filled me up. He's saved me. Praise God. Yes. I have been restored. No matter what comes at you in life, I don't care what it looks like, know it for what it is. If it's not of God, it's the devil. I don't care who it is. I was blinded for a long, long time. And the devil blinded me for almost a year. Couldn't see things for the way they were. I didn't know how it would turn out once it ended. But you know, the devil will paint you a pretty picture. You never know until it's all over with and what you've done. And after you've done the sin, then you feel the pain. He doesn't prepare you for that. He never will prepare you for the other side. No. He is a deceiver. Yes, he is. I've often heard, and it's even in the Bible, that He will deceive the very elect. Yes, it will possible. I've been saved for a long time before that happened to me. I had a lot of things to come my way before that happened to me. And I came through every one of the things that come through my family. I seen the devil for what he was. But when it happened to me, I didn't see it. Until I gave in. He knows your weakness. Yes, he does. He knows how to get to you. Yes. See him for who he is when he comes, because he will come. Yes. But you will not ever be happy unless you have God. Amen. And I am proof of that. I used to sing at our church. I was over all the singing. When this happened to me, I quit. I haven't sang in a long time. So the devil was trying to rob me of all that too. But it'll come back. I'm taking it a day at a time. But it will come back. Thank you for all your prayers this morning. Amen. Yeah. I told him that she won't be baptized tonight. Sure, baptized tonight. Maybe baptized himself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, you want to testify? Yeah. Yeah. You're okay, I'll cry with you. Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. All right. Get ready. The last couple of months, should say years. I've been praying for a job. One that better pay in, better benefits, and that I can help support my family, my church, and my community. And uh, it just kind of seemed like it was always kind of stalling out. Well, I got a, I put in for one with the railroad, and I got an interview Wednesday, and then I got an email and told me I had it. And then they uh, called me yesterday. Friday and told me that it was mine if I wanted it. Well, I accepted it, not really fully asking the Lord if it was mine. And it was kind of just burden on me, and I didn't really, I couldn't get it off of me. And 
I knew why I was burdened by it, because this is a traveling job, and I'll go from Toronto to Miami, east of the Mississippi. And not to embarrass her at all. But my only prayer was that Brittany's going to have to have something stronger than I got to make it through when I'm not there. This morning, she got it. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 This morning, that job's mine. That I'm supposed to go and do His work, be His messenger across this nation. Somewhere where I never thought I'd go is out in the world doing, doing that kind of stuff. I'm kind of a homebody, don't like to leave. But He's called me to go across this country to spread His Word and do the things that He wants me to do. He answered my prayers this morning. And I'll give you a little bit of an example about this pay on this job. It more than doubled what I was making. It's doubled what I asked the Lord for. And within about six months, they told me I could triple my pay. Oh, no. So, no. Thank you, Lord, for number one, answering my prayers. And thank you, church, for praying for me. I'm going to do continuously. Amen. how much he's going to be making. He's going to be making at least $10 an hour. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. More salary for him and his family. More ties for the church. More money for the building fund. <laughs> Praise God. I just pray God will bless us. You know, I... I used to do my own taxes, and, and on there it said about you work for the railroad because people who work for the railroad pay so much more in the Social Security that they have to quit paying Social Security. And that's that's pretty phenomenal. I never had that problem. Never made too much. <laughs> but in God, good. And I know He'll be faithful to it. To God, His family, and the church. Yes. And obey God. If God moves on to give 500,000, you'll just obey God. God bless Him with that much. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, just praise God for blessing Him and His family. And, you know, you want to be blessed so that you can bless others. Yes. Yeah, Where does she go? She goes. Where is she at? Okay. That's all right. We'll catch on way in. Let me know when she's coming back in. It's, and God, God will just bless you as much as you let Him bless you. Uh, I think you must be the only person in this whole building, sister. I know He will. I, I, let me. Have you got your ears on? Amen. Can you hear them now? Yes. <laughs> I said, God will bless you yes. as much as you'll let Him bless you. Yes. Amen. Yes. And in turn, you will want to bless the Lord. Yes. You'll want to. Amen. But it's not a drudgery to bless the Lord. Amen. You just want to bless Him and praise Him. Amen. And give to God. Man, I had to bring these offering plates back in here for a reason. You said, well, you were receiving an offering a while ago, tithes and offerings. But, and I, I'm really, I want you to hear this. I'm not asking you to give anything. But God said to do this. And I'm going to leave them up here. And if God wants you to give more in this offering, maybe you didn't do what you're supposed to the first time. I don't know why He had to do this. And I told God, you know, really, it doesn't matter if there's any money in it or not, but I've got to give way for people to have opportunity to give in this offering again. I really don't believe in receiving more than one offering like that. I don't. But yet, I do believe in obeying God. Yeah. Come on up here, Karen, please. And it's beautiful. 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 She's just doing a tape for it. She is beautiful. I won't care. Just testify what Jesus has done for her today. You feel like right? I know you didn't want to. Did Jesus save you? I've been ignoring God a long time now. And 
She's not a pastor. Start the work for me again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for doing this morning. Yes. All right. She's not bashful with the microphone. She's just bad at <laughs> She's precious. Thank you, Kara. We love you. Now I want to ask you to be sure to be praying for Kara. To be praying for her. Cynthia Rachel. Now, I, I believe what Brother Sparkman told me, but I had a hard time. I had a hard time connecting because I was thinking, and don't please don't get offended at me. But I'm saying, I'm to say, please don't get offended. You heard me say, don't get offended. I really, seriously, no kidding, thought they were sisters. <laughs> Something that you look older is because you look younger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. Y'all look. Really, really, this is her mother. This is a mother. And this is a daughter. It's hard to hard to connect that. But it's true. And I'm the adopted mother. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been. He's adopted daddy. Sparkman's adopted daddy. Amen. I've got more children than Shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we praise God. My, did you enjoy the message this morning? Another one of the greatest messages we've had in this church in all the years that we've been in this church is another one of the greatest messages. And you don't get greater than souls being saved. When two souls come to Jesus, you don't get greater than that. That's right. That is the utmost. You will never see a greater miracle That's in right. all your life than a soul saved. Right. You won't. That's the greatest miracle there is. Right. People can be healed and all kinds of things, but the greatest miracle of all is salvation. Right. And I praise God for that. And I just bless you in Jesus' name. I've got a few announcements after we go off the air. But I praise God that we are having over either over a thousand or over fifteen hundred hits. Not what is it? One. We have one person look at it. <laughs> over fifteen hundred reached. By, for the last Sunday's video. Praise God. Last Sunday's service. I said, praise God. That's when we got this church. <laughs> We're building. Let me ask you, did anybody come as a result of seeing the video or anything on the web? All right. I, I really, April and myself both advertised and Storm might have put something on. And a lot of people shared we were inviting people to the church. We told them we would be preaching on in the spirit. But let me tell you what happened. Instead of preaching on it, we lived it. You got to live that message in this service today. Praise God. And I'm going to carry tonight, I'm going to carry to share something God give her tonight. So you won't want to miss that. I've, I've read it, and it is powerful. It is more powerful than I can say because God gave it to her. And she's she's got a big key. But really, it's just the right size and the right shape of key for the right lock of hearts. And I appreciate her obeying God. And tonight, she's going to share that. And you don't want to miss that unless the Lord changes my mind. The message of in the spirit, we preach tonight. If God does what He did this morning, I'm, I always relinquish the pulpit to the Holy Ghost. Right. Always, yeah. there's no question about that. And I want to let me tell you this: Aren't you glad that you're in a church that we give way to the Holy Ghost, yeah. even when it's not our agenda, yeah. even when it's not on the program? Yeah. So God, go ahead. Somebody said that saying something they want to say something. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to say, because along the message, I was raised like this. And I just want to tell y'all, 
that you can't just hear God's word, but you have to do it. Yeah. And that's what we did this morning. And I thank God for it. Hey, he and his beautiful wife. Is going to be baptized tonight. Unless mm -hmm. Jesus comes before then, you won't be to when it's go up. Yes. There you go. And I'm telling you the truth. I expect anything this afternoon, how God will move. I'm not sure we will be back tonight. Because of the rapture. And if He comes, if He even came right now, anytime, I, I welcome Him. Yes. Praise God. That's a whole lot rather go to heaven than to be out of here trying to preach or sing or something. And I'd rather sing with a heavenly choir yes. and bowing down before Jesus and worshiping Him. Yes, someone said, Brother Man. Yes. Oh, you're right. I'm sure about it. I normally don't do this, but y'all have been praying for my family. I've asked for prayers several times. And. I just want to give God praise for healing in my marriage, in my family. Yes, he has right. answered so many prayers. And I want to thank all of you for praying for us because He has brought us so far. And um, I just want to thank God again for everything He's done. Isn't that right, Jesus? Isn't just like someone else said, dude, you need to testify. Before someone else said this, I I just want to say that I love the Lord this morning. He's so good. Yes. I tell you, we couldn't live a day without him. I was sitting here thinking about the angels that's been coming up on the Facebook. It's been amazing what you see. What God is putting through the sky, the angels. And I was looking at Facebook the other morning. I seen this pink angel and it's just standing there. I know God's fixing to do something. And we don't know what it is, but something's fixing to happen. And I tell you, you better be ready. Because if Jesus wins those these disguise, yes. we are going up. Yes. And I was standing out there looking to the moon the other morning. And I just raised my hand. I said, Jesus, yes. come right now. Oh. Jesus is soon coming. God bless you. We're praying for you. 